Ladies and gentlemen, let me put everything in summary now for you so you know exactly what's going on. And I got some shout-outs to do for contributions, and then I'm calling it a night because it's already 9.47 p.m. Usually I'd be long done with my streaming by now, all right? So earlier today, out of nowhere, this channel on Twitch was taken down for a false DMCA takedown, <clears throat> okay? It was down for seven and a half hours, which I was waiting for Twitch to contact me and tell me what the hell was going on. They finally responded to my request and said, um, it was a DMCA takedown. Therefore, file a counter DMCA claim if you want it cleared up. And if future ones happen, we may just permanently suspend your channel, okay? To which I responded and said, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, all right? Because you didn't ever tell me what I did wrong. You never sent me a notice saying this is what's being taken down and this is what needs to be fixed. You just suspended my channel. So I can't do a counterclaim because you never responded. Plus, I have evidence that someone is messing with me and is a troll. There's someone who's been messing with my Twitter for two months and taking down all my profile icons and everything on Twitter, and Twitter doesn't respond to it. So already there's evidence someone's doing this. It's obviously it's the same person. In fact, this person tweeted earlier today that they were aware that I, there was going to be some kind of a copyright issue uh, against something. It was very, very uh, general and not specific. But basically, I was going to have copyright troubles today. Okay, The same person who has publicly admitted that they took down my Twitter account or, or took pictures off my Twitter account is now saying I'm going to have copyright issues somewhere else. Gee, I wonder if they're somehow involved. Okay, So I provide all this evidence to Twitch. Twitch responded again with an automated message saying, just do a DMCA counter notice. I'm like, I can't. You didn't give me the information. Without the information of what was taken down, I can't do that. So I'm hoping they'll respond. I also demanded they escalate this to a manager because in this case, it's ludicrous. It's not something that I can handle. We know there's a troll involved who's screwing with me. Okay? So in the meantime of all this happening, I did this all on live stream today trying to figure all this out. This guy who... Again, it seems like he's the one who's doing this to me. Now, is threatening me again. Saying if I don't retract my statements and publicly apologize in the next 24 hours, saying that it was him, he claims it wasn't him, <clears throat> um, extreme measures will be taken against me, basically. So he's basically saying, oh, I didn't do this one, but I'll just do a different one to you if you don't apologize, all right? Now, I posted up in response to that. I said, well, if you didn't do it, then how do you know about it ahead of time? I'll retract this, any statements once you can prove your innocence. But you've already publicly claimed, or already said there was false DMCA takedowns against this Twitter, you know, so hard to believe that you knew about it ahead of time, and it's not you. The guy hasn't responded yet. That was 18 minutes ago. The guy hasn't responded. So he's publicly threatening me here on Twitter, all right? Publicly threatening me. Supposedly, you know, he's responsible for the takedown today. Is he or is he not? I don't know. True, I don't have concrete evidence, but being that he's the guy who did it last time, and he apparently had foregone knowledge that this was going to happen. He knew ahead of time. How did he know if it wasn't him, right? <clears throat> so in the meantime, there's a looming threat this guy's going to do this again, all right? At the same exact time, Twi Twitch isn't giving me any valid answer on what to do to protect myself or even how to do a counter DMCA claim because I don't know what was claimed. The only thing I can think about or think of is that we were looking here all right on we were looking here on the uh twitch channel and on my twitch channel it appears that the chat crown badges have disappeared but only for certain people the chat or excuse me not chat crown the sub crown badges have disappeared for certain people only people who are the the bronze silver gold and the uh jewel encrusted crowns those seem to have vanished from my channel but the three-year and four-year crowns are still there <clears throat> so it doesn't make any sense how is it that some are there and some aren't? Why didn't I get a notice? What the hell is going on? So, basically two things. Number one, I need Twitch to actually escalate this to their management to review the situation, to see this guy is threatening me, and to basically stop this nonsense and don't allow him to take down any more crap with false DMCA takedowns. At the same time, we gotta figure out who the fuck this guy is who's threatening me publicly. We, I don't know how we could do that, but somehow we have to figure out who this guy is and stop him because what he's doing is completely and utterly illegal. It is. It's 100% illegal what he's doing. And uh, it, it's, it's disgusting. You know, it is. It's disgusting that now somehow I'm getting publicly threatened by someone who I don't know who they are, you know. <clears throat> now he posted, says, I'm, maybe I'm lying. 
And now he's saying maybe I temporarily temporarily disabled my channel to bait donations. This is the same guy who earlier today posted up. I think my friend Shana may be contacting They Call Me DSP later this evening, apparently due to copyright issues. And now he says, I think he's lying. <laughs> the guy's full of shit, okay? Um, obviously. You don't have fore fore foreknowledge that a strike is coming and then not know about it and then now say that I faked it even though you knew the strike was coming earlier. Like, it's all on your timeline, dude. All right? It's on your fucking timeline. You're caught the fuck out. So, what we need is Twitch management to get involved. Seriously. We need Twitch management to get involved. And we need them to say, okay, this is a false claim. It shouldn't have been stricken down to begin with. And we need to protect Phil from future false claims because this is ludicrous. And if it really was the chat crowns, that's so bad. Because those chat crowns have been on my stream for three years. They were made by my moderator, Popsicolo. And they're, they're our legal property. There's no way anyone could prove otherwise. So it just means that they, once again, failed in one of these companies. First it's Twitter, now it's Twitch. Failing to protect the content creators from falsities. Because they don't have any real any real review process. There was no way anyone could have provided evidence that they owned the chat crowns. So no one, apparently no one really truly reviewed it. Or someone who did is incompetent at their job. It's one or the other, right? So I don't know what to do. I told you guys, if Twitch doesn't take this seriously, I might have to leave Twitch and do something else. Whether it's stream on YouTube or stream on another company. I, I you know. But I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I don't want to go somewhere else. Um... I want to stay here. I want to stay on Twitch. I like streaming on Twitch. All right? I want to stay here. And I hope you guys know that. That I like being here. I appreciate your support. But this may be an extreme measure. What if tomorrow the whole channel gets taken down again for another false takedown request, right? Right now what I'm doing is I'm screen capping the guy's uh, Twitter feed. You know, just to show what he's saying. So that there's evidence of this after the fact in case he decides to delete it. So I'm screen capping all of it right now. So the evidence is there now. Even if he deletes it, it's still there. And you'll be able to find it, okay? Um. So here's the thing. Let's do shout outs. And then what I want to do is talk about the future. So you guys know what's going on tomorrow. And we'll go from there. All right? So let's do shout-outs because there's a ton of them here. I don't even know where to start. Uh, okay. Muse89, resubscribe for three months. I'm glad you're back, Phil. Jerry Jinx, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Jerry Jinx. Gerard Crochers, if the crown badges were posted anywhere else publicly, someone who wasn't you could find them. No, they weren't. They were only between me and Popsicolo. There's no other way anyone could get them ahead of time. And I can tell you this, that this person isn't that smart to try to implement that. All they do is they link it somewhere else, and somehow these companies believe them. For example, my Twitter account had a selfie from my cell phone. The moment I took the selfie, I uploaded it to the Twitter account. It didn't exist anywhere but my Twitter. Twitter took down the selfie citing that the guy had said that it was his content somewhere else. So they don't review it. They just take it down because they're idiots. Eden took me a dollar. Says, don't you have a direct line to Twitch anymore? No. That's what I, I, I told you guys earlier. My direct line to Twitch apparently, I guess, is defunct or doesn't work there anymore. Um, or it's just a, not a valid contact anymore. Because all day I've been logging in. All right. All day I've been logging in to... My old Discord from years ago that I only used to talk to this one effing guy. And he has not been online all day. I haven't talked to him on that in 1.5 to 2 years was the last time that I talked to the guy. So I don't think it's valid anymore. Like I said, his profile picture is gone from the account. I don't think he's valid. And they never provided me with a new contact. So I have no contact at Twitch now to talk to anymore. Even though I'm a partner, apparently they did away with that whole system, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, nope. Yeah, it's dead. I told you. It's, it's, it's idle. It's an idle, defunct account. So no contact and no way to talk to Twitch directly about anything, apparently. Okay? <laughs> All right. 
Continuing. Uh, Timbo Slice Shoes, I just advise clips. Other streamers did the same thing to prevent copyright stuff. Uh, more so, you wanted all videos gone. Realize you might have overlooked clips. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. No, I appreciate you did that because I think that will help. Awesomeness Kaboom Cheers. I'm going to cheer what was going to cheer before. Why on every game of every console generation do they look so good? The graphics that goes to Tsushima are beautiful. Like, it's because it's the end of the console generation, so they could do the best, right? <laughs> they, can, they could do the best with the, that last game of the console generation or whatever. All right. Um, RPG fan cheers. What's more broken, Twitch system or the netcoded Street Fighter? Take your pick. I don't I don't know if one's worse than the other. Jay Bowler did a thousand bit cheer and said, I've been with you for a long time. Loyal follower. And I hope you get this resolved soon. You, and you, you break the person in half. I don't want to break the person in half. I just want it to stop. I just want to do my thing and not be harassed by some fucking asshole online who no one will take action on. All these companies believe him without checking and no one will take action against this guy. RBG Fan Cheers says, walk into Twitch headquarters with the CEO in a headlock. No, I'm not doing that. Also, this caboose said, Facebook gaming is the way to go. Yeah, right. Dixon, Dixon McEaster took me $5 and said, welcome back. Thank you. Probably Dixon, so it's probably some fucking just stupid thing that they made me say on stream or something. Carlton Jr. cheered. He said, if you do decide to leave, I can do a thorough research on their DMCA system beforehand. It seems like most social media type sites handle them the same way. Darkside Chris tipped me $10. Said, I'm really sorry about what's happening. Hope everything works out the right way. Thank you, Darkside Chris. I hope so, too. Because I want to keep being a streamer. I don't know what the fuck is going on or what I'm supposed to do to defend myself at this point. Only Eyes Coffee gifted a bunch of subs. One to Freddie B. Cardi. One to It Me Gaming. One to Y2 Cam. Y2 Y2 Cam. Five. <coughs> excuse me. Five thirteen. One to Joman sixty seven sixty seven. One to Hidden Chakra. And one to Navy two K. Mister Papa Vera cheers. Said I guess keep on pressing till you get a coherent response. And unless a claim was verified to be legitimate, an action to take down the channel won't happen. And keep a copy of the transcripts. Only Ice Coffee did this of the Sunny Side Up 343 and then Indie Jabs. Sunny Side Up 343 did 100 bit cheers saying, I'm sorry this happened. I sincerely hope you can keep streaming on Twitch because, in my opinion, YouTube sucks compared to Twitch in terms of features and UI. I agree. The only benefit over there is you can stream at whatever quality you want. And they'll make you more subject to trolling and dislike bombing. That's right. Polish Fraga, resubscribed for three months in a row, said, Time to leave Twitch. This is unacceptable. Nobody should have to put up with this. Loner tipped me a dollar thirty. said, Put the vest back on. No, I took it off on a for a reason. I was overheated and I already had to do so much shit. I just said, Screw it. But thank you guys for the support today. Um, awesome, this Kaboom Cheers said he did answer, and I just said what he said. That basically now he's saying that I'm a faker and I made up the whole thing. Yeah, fucking right. You said earlier today, you said earlier today that you were doing it or that you knew about it, and now you're claiming I made it up, even though you knew about it ahead of time. Right. Sunny side up cheered again. He said, This is meaning in the future, all art on your channels like backgrounds and emotes and crowns will need to go away. I don't know. I've never heard of a chat crown, like a, a fucking emote crown being claimed. That's why I want, I need Twitch to answer me on what apparently happened, right? You see what I mean? Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do at all uh, to protect myself. I don't know what, I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. And it seems like until, until Twitch gives me a legit answer, I don't know what else I could possibly do with this situation. It doesn't even seem to me like there's anything I can do at all. Um, I don't even know now where to go. Because now I had to restart my computer because OBS crashed. Because of all this shit that I was doing today. And now I don't even know how to get back to where I was to see the status. Because there's a status area where you can go. And that status area lets you see the status of your claim or whatever. I can't even see it now. It's gone completely gone i don't know where it was so i can't even go to it to see where the hell it was and figure it out like what's the status did they update it or close it i can't see it. i don't know where the fuck that is it was a different page that only popped up when you're suspended it pops up just click here to find out about our dmca policy and all that and now it's gone i don't know where the fuck it is um Noah Taylor Chase, I'm trying to report this guy on Twitter and get him banned. I mean it won't matter he just makes another one anyway the guy's had 20 accounts banned and he just comes right back so it doesn't matter um, yeah, and yeah, Noah Taylor, I can block him on Twitter, but then I can't see his threats. <laughs> I can't see his threats that I need his evidence. You know, I need evidence that this shit that the guy's saying, so that if shit happens, I can say, look, this guy's been threatening me all day or whatever, you know? And so, obviously, this is what's going on, right? Oh, 
Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, also, Ms. Kaboom Cheerio said, always wear a counter to protect yourself. That's what I do. Sunny Side Up Cheerio said, why are copyright systems so broken on the internet? I think it's so dumb. All these systems are automated by bots, uh, especially on sites like Twitter. Can you not even update your profile with pics anymore? I can, and they'll just be taken down again, because that's what happened. Someone said to me, oh, then don't use picture someone drew. Use a selfie. And I didn't. It still got taken down. There's no point. Whatever I put up is going to get taken down again. They found the exploit in the system, and they're not fixing the system, so there's no point. <laughs> Last Rainbow says you can browse his, his tweets through a browser without logging in, so block him. Uh, yeah, you really am going to do this a million fucking times, logging from different places and shit? All right. So, guys, so here's the deal now. I'm going to finish I'm this. I'm going to upload some videos. I've got... I'm not going to upload gameplay today. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. There's no fucking point in uploading the gameplay today, to be honest. Um, What I'm going to do... I'm going to upload. Let's see. I don't need to upload this video because this video already went live on YouTube. That's the one that was archived on YouTube. That one's already live. So that one I can delete. What's this one? This is the other one I did. So these are the two live YouTube live streams that I did earlier today. Those already are live on YouTube. You could watch those. I'm checking right now. Yeah, they're already there. They're live. So I'll delete that one. So I'm going to upload just these two streams from tonight. Looking at, at Twitch and determining what was fa falsely claimed or whatever. All right. And then tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. We're going to attempt to stream gameplay like I was supposed to fucking do today. All right. We're going to try to go back to how things were. We're going to try to get shit back on track. It's going to be Ghost of Tsushima on the first stream. And it's going to be Paper Mario and the Origami King on the late stream, all right? I hope that the streams go through. Even if this guy's putting in false shit, hopefully it takes a while for the false shit to go through. Hopefully Twitch will legitimately look at the situation and contact me behind the scenes and say, you know, okay, um... Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. I can tell you right now, apparently it was the sub badges. Ninstar Rune figured it out. Yep. If you can believe it, the DMCA is the sub badges. That apparently this guy is trying to say the sub badges were stolen when they're not. They were made by by uh my moderator. Okay? So this someone posted up and lied. And basically said that these crowns were their, uh, their, their property when they weren't. Yeah. And more than likely, this super hound guy, all right, people in stream chat have the bronze badge. No, they don't. Not in my stream chat. The only ones that I see here are the three-year and the four-year, and those are different. The three-year and the four-year are the ones that look like regal crowns, the ones that are rounded or whatever. The regular crowns that are just like this, all are gone. You notice that? So that's what I think it is. I think if you can believe it, it's the sub-badges, right? I think so. And that's exactly what it was. Pfft. As screwed up as this is, right? Whoa, Beesbot says he has his crown. You do have your crown. Why? The ones that say tier 2 or tier 3 stuck around? I don't know. I don't even have the ability to change those. I don't. The tier 2 or tier 3 stay, so that's a loophole. That's an actual, must be an actual loophole of Twitch. Because, yeah... That must be an actual loophole of Twitch. Because the though they've been deleted. You know, taking a look, they've been deleted. So, what happened was, Popsicolo designed these years ago. He probably found someone who posted them on the internet. Maybe someone stole them. Or maybe it's a generic thing. It's generic enough that another one looks very similar. Okay? And someone posted that up. 
and said, oh, it's my legal property. And it was more than likely it was the Superhound Media guy. All right. Um, or else how the hell would he have the foreknowledge that this was happening? Right. How would he know? He wouldn't. The truth is, he would not know unless it was him or he was involved in it. There's no way he would have known that a false claim came through for my emotes. It's impossible that he would know that. Right. So. So that's fucked up, you know, and now I guess I can't use them anymore. We're just going to use the generic stars. There's nothing I can do about that right now. I'm just going to leave it blank, I guess. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave it blank. And until we can get this resolved, I don't know how we can get it resolved. It seems like this guy could claim anything, right? I never got... The thing that sucks, I really didn't get an email or nothing. I got nothing from Twitch at all to tell me that I had an issue. In fact, I'm going to check one last time from where I get my emails for Twitch. Here it is, spam. I'm looking at my spam folder. Nothing. Well, it fucked up. Hold on. Now I see nothing. And that's it. All there is is spam in my inbox, and I got nothing in my inbox. Twitch did never sent me an email to notify me anything about it. So that, you know, there was no way for me to confirm or deny what was going on. Um, yeah, you can be real at this point, your body will be copyright claim. <laughs> You're right. So all I can, here's what I can do. We're not going to put up crowns for now. We're going to leave the crowns down. We're not going to archive clips. We're not going to archive videos. It's all going to, we're going to leave everything as is, as it is right now. Because apparently right now we're fine. I don't think those regal crowns or whatever can be claimed because they're different from the other crowns. So I think we're all right. We're just going to leave everything as it is. I apologize. I know it looks like shit with the stars. All right. There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing. We're going to leave it as is. I'd much rather be able to stream daily than worry about these stupid stars and shit. Okay. So we just got to leave it as it is right now. Fair enough. Let's see what happens. Can this guy try to do more false claims against me? And I don't know. What I'm going to have to start doing, I guess. Should I st should I not even pull up fan art? You know what I mean? Like, should I completely abolish the whole pre-stream fan art and just do the, the PS4 dashboard with text tomorrow? This is just bullshit. You know? Yeah, they can't get me for the music because the music's ridiculous. It's, it's YouTube video stuff of my voice. How are they going to fucking do it, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's just finish with shoutouts. We'll end for today. I'm going to try to stream tomorrow normally, although it looks like I might not be able to run fan art. And we're just going to leave everything as is. I'm not going to use new chat crown badges or nothing, right? I'm just going to leave it as is. All right. Um. All right. So, let's see here. Adult, Merchurtle says, I missed a bunch of cheers. I don't care. It's too late. There's so much coming in. You guys know how chaotic it is. I apologize, but I can't, I can't, I can't control that. Only Ice Coffee, give it a sub to Abba Show. Congratulations, Abba Show. Last Rambo says, how many subs do I have now? <clears throat> I don't even know if it's accurate. It's claiming I have 742 subs on my page. That doesn't mean it's accurate. It could be wrong. But I think I have that many as of now. I'll be show says, uh, cheers. Big ups to Only Ice Coffee for giving a sub. Thanks very much and congrats. Uh, uh, Only Ice Coffee gives a sub to Diligent Dogay. Also, Mr. Boom, Kaboom Cheers said, what are you doing for Sunday for Microsoft? There's nothing on Sunday for Microsoft. The Microsoft thing's Thursday. Um, and like I said, what I'm going to do is do it before. I'm going to get up early, watch, do a reaction stream, and then stream after if I can. The guy who plays games, resubscribe for eight months. Spartan King Cheery says, there are bronze badges that say tier two. All right, we already talked about that. Papa Vera Cheery said, Twitch didn't even bother to confirm that. I know it would be hard to prove what well, art is whose, but a simple query would take all five minutes. It could fix all that than half a day. That's right. 
Timbo Slice cheered and he said, maybe insurance will pay for people's missing crowns. <laughs> Brian Whitaker to me, five bucks, says, sorry to hear about this cock and balls bullshit you're going through. Remember, at Lowe's, you can only go up from there. Sincerely, Brian Whitaker. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate that. Um, Internet Famous McCroy gifted a sub to Petulant Steven. Congrats. Frog and Street, I think the DMCA problems are a problem with the DMCA system itself and not the individual websites. That's why it's shitty on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. They'll have to follow the same rules as the DMCA law states. The law needs to be updated and changed. Uh, I don't believe that at all. I don't. I don't believe that at all. I think that they're just protecting their own ass from litigation. They don't want to get sued rather than caring about actually doing the right thing because if they actually had a, a human review every case, this wouldn't happen. That's the problem. They don't. Okay? Or if they do... Not a very well-trained human. Because if a well-trained human looked at a generic emo like the ones I use on my channel and believed that it was stolen from someone fucking else, that's ludicrous nonsense. It's ludicrous nonsense. Noah Taylor cheered and said, My sub badge was a star when I turned off my phone. When I turned it back on, it was a crown. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Ken Kula to me a dollar said, Why don't you commission pieces of art for your pre-stream then you own the content? I do own the content on my pre-stream. The people that send it to me gave me permission. Like, you know, see what I mean? Like... It doesn't matter. The selfies I use on Twitter get claimed. The, the fucking chat crowns that were made by my fucking moderator get claimed anyway. It doesn't matter what I have evidence of anything. They still take it down. It's broken. <clears throat> Mature adult cheers and enjoy $13. Hope we can put it towards something good. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means, but thank you. Also, this Kaboom cheers is the only way to deal with this is go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. <sighs> All right, guys. I'm tired. So here's the deal. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to stream normally. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try to stream normally. Ghost of Tsushima on the first stream, and uh, Paper Mario, which I was supposed to play tonight, the premiere, I'm going to try to do on the late stream. Okay? <clears throat> okay? So, that's it for now. Thanks for supporting me today. Thanks for putting up with all this bullshit. Thank you to everyone who contributed. I mean, amazing contributions today. So obviously it makes up for not streaming. I'm just frustrated. I wanted to play the fucking games. And what's going to happen tomorrow? It could happen again. It could literally happen again tomorrow. And I have no defense. Twitch needs to step up, escalate this to a manager, and get this fixed. Not ignore the problem and send me form letter fucking response emails, right? That are bullshit. That they're not going to take it seriously. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to adjourn for the night. I'm going to upload these two videos from Twitch to DSP Gaming right now so people know what's going on. And then tomorrow I'm going to attempt to play gameplay. I'm not uploading any gameplay. Like I said, I do have one video of Ghost of Tsushima. I'm just going to save it for tomorrow. I'm going to try to upload everything tomorrow. All right. Fair enough. All right, guys, thank you for your support. Again, I appreciate it. I'm sorry this happened. This is terrible bullshit, and I hope it doesn't happen again tomorrow. I seriously hope that someone is going to, you know, escalate this at Twitch and that this thing will be will be solved because it needs to be solved. It has to be solved. It cannot be let alone and have people getting me false strike, false strike, false strike, and shutting me down for seven and a half hours, and now I can't work today because of it, Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. I appreciate your support. I'll see you all in the AM. Later. I'll tweet up the schedule so you guys know what's going on. All right. Thanks, guys.